Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing good. So today we are standing right in front of a building that is LEED Platinum Rated. And this is here in Ottawa. And this building is Algonquin Construction Building. I have made a previous video, but that day it was too cold and I couldn't show you everything properly. But in today's video, we will go over what makes this building that is behind me LEED Platinum Rated. So without any delays guys, let's get started with the video. Okay guys, so first let's talk about what makes a building LEED Platinum Rated. To get a LEED Platinum Rating, you have to score at least, at least 80 points in LEED credit system. And it is not at all easy to do that. Uh, to reach a gold standard, you have to score at least 60 to 79 points in lead rating and this building is 80 plus points and it has been rated as lead platinum rated so these are the criteria that you can see on your screen right now are very essential to get considered into the lead rating system you have to at least to qualify you have to score 40 plus points so guys let's talk about the location aspect Location is one of the very important and very crucial point of a LEED rating system. This entire college is located right in front of a bus stop. This is the major baseline bus depot here in Ottawa. And behind me, there is a railway track that is being uh, constructed. And you can see there is the platform. Uh, the, it's under construction still. And this is the bridge that will go and enter into the main station and the access is directly to the building. So this is the first criteria that you have to consider while creating a lead rating system or a lead rating building. You have to locate the building in such a way that it is convenient and accessible from public transportations. Next point is the orientation and the location. The site should be not under a green belt or a green zone. You have to rebuilt on a site that was previously used or previously constructed upon. Next point is your orientation. As you can see the entire facade, this corner, this is facing south. I will take you, giving you a wide angle. So this entire facade is facing south, as you can see. And they have kept the openings over here. So if you go closer to this building, you will see these are called vertical solar shades. So these are the shades and they protect the building from overheating. And if you see the glasses over here, I don't know if the glasses are going on or not. So glasses are also triple glazed glasses. So they are to avoid any heat to escape out or the cold to enter inside the building. And you can see this vertical fin system has been integrated with the facade of the building. And they have tried really well to maintain the college colors as green, yellow, and greenish yellow. So this is how it goes. Even the even the parkings are considered. How many bicycle parking you are giving, how many electric charging stations you are giving, how much convenience you are providing to the bicycle users. So these all parts are considered in lead rating system. Again, as you can see, like there is a air pump. I don't know if it's working or not, but these are all the parts of lead rating system. Again, landscaping is also a part of it and low water consumption landscaping is very essential when it when you are going to apply for a lead rating system all the plants that you will see around the building or inside the building also are local plant they consume very less water they are less maintenance and they still look good so this is one of the aspect of lead rating system that everyone consider. So this is how the building looks from the exterior part. And let's go inside and see what all things they have considered to get it rated at lead platinum rating. This is the entrance part. 
so again they have created this huge gap just for the reason of less heat transfer and you can see this this is to avoid the dust snow and water to enter inside and when you enter inside you will see the open setup that they have kept they have kept a skylight to reduce the energy consumption in day and they have placed all the classes on the periphery so every class has enough access to the daylight and here they have even considered a green wall so this is how a green wall looks it is not something that is very low maintenance this green wall has to be maintained throughout the year or else it dies and here is the badge of lead platinum rating again if you go on the flooring so material and resources are also very important part in lead platinum rating system so these all materials and tiles are procured locally these stones are available here these are slate so it is available abundance in this algonquin area and again they have kept the entire ceiling and the ventilation system open to give people an experience of uh, open ceiling uh, even students come here they discuss they see the ventilation systems over here to study basically and similar to this when you go here they have kept glass on the flooring to show the foundation and how the footing is running around here and you can see this is a central ventilation duct it dumps in the warm air that are processed through the heat exchanger that were behind i will just show you a glimpse of that and similar thing goes with the elevators they have kept the entire elevator system open again to give students a more feel of what they will be studying here so a lot of uh, engineers are here a lot of architects are here a lot of architecture technicians are here so they are all studying this so energy management is also one of the programs that they are going through over here and here you can see that they have ha they have given some cut out sections of how the walls are made over here different kinds of walls this is very classic example of the walls that have rock wool insulation these are the studs and again the filling of eps i have shown you this in before uh, in my previous videos and this is the sheathing this is the furring layer on furring you have your exterior exterior coating and similar thing goes for the flooring as well you might see these vents all around your house if you are in canada so this is how it goes so all your warm air is dumped through this and then extracted out of this again this is the flooring and these are the floor studs so these look similar to the i section that we have in india and in other countries asian countries and these are made up of wood and then you have a solid baseboard and then on the top of that you have your flooring so this is a good example to see how walls are constructed and floors are constructed i really like this initiative that they have taken over here and when you go ahead and move upwards i will show you the other aspects that make this building a lead rated building again if you if you will notice all the areas around this entire campus are located or oriented towards the external facade just for the purpose of using the daylight and this is the green roof patch that we could see from outside but not pretty clearly 
and they have demonstrated how they have constructed this green roof. So yes, this is how thick a green roof has to be to avoid the leakage of water and to sustain the green roofing. Again, you will see the entire staircase is going through the corridor itself. Like if you go here and it is well lit by the skylight above me. So this is something that is very important while considering and making a lead rated building. And you can see these are the clothing again for the acoustic. You will find that my voice is not echoing over here. Well, it is because of the acoustic panels that they have used and how they have made perforations all over the facade over here. So if you'll see, this is how the cladding looks like. And this is also a wood acoustic panel. So these are also the aspects that are considered while constructing a building while constructing a lead rated building for being very precise about that. I like this part as well, where they have described each and everything and have labeled each and everything. It's like a huge model for students to study. If, if they are uh, into architecture and into construction enough, it's a lot over here that a person can study from. So guys, this was the staircase that we could see from the ground floor and I'll show you how it looks up close. This is how the staircase looks. And you can see how it's curving and going on the top level. That level is mostly for the faculties over here. And this is how it looks when you go up on the staircase. So it's a pretty interesting feature and from here you can see how they have developed the entire flow of this structure. You enter from there, that corner and then go here and then you go up and then you enter and you circulate around this entire corridor. And to come up on this level, you take this beautiful staircase and then go on the top portion over here again if you see on the top those glazing are very thick they are at least three layers thick on the top and they are supported by the eye sections as you can see going from left to right and from here you can see how students study on the small balconies and the niches that are coming out of the building. And again, the wood cladding, MDF cladding all around the structure. You can see people using the space. And this is the essence of architecture. When you see people using a space, you realize how it was meant and what an architect was thinking while designing a certain space. I always love the concept where the entire building is, the circulation of the entire building is going around a central courtyard and which is lit up with daylight. This is the best thing to you can do to design any structure that you are doing. Again, the huge, huge, the ventilation shaft that you can see, it dumps in fresh air constantly into the areas and into the lobbies. And again, small thing matters a lot when you are going for a platinum rating system. These are anti-skid patterns and you should provide them wherever it's necessary on the landings. Again, you can see even the railings, they have made the railing continuous so that people have enough support. Even the 
thickness of the glass you can see it's pretty thick glass these are the small aspects that makes a building a lead platinum rated building okay guys i even wanted to show you the garden the roof garden it is a massive area and you can see the solar panels and the ventilation systems that are coming out of there okay guys so this was the entire tour of this building it's a very huge building i can't go into all the classrooms but i tried to show you as much as possible uh and there is a lot of construction going on over here as well as they are constructing new uh railway station over here and here you can see all the hvac and their big mechanical equipments are placed here so this is the heart or the lungs of this building as you can see and entire air is circulated from here and there are bigger systems on top of that building which is entirely dedicated for that building itself so this is how the construction building looks like if you will be studying any construction related courses or anything uh, this is the building that you will be coming to here is the baseline station uh, that they have considered and placed this specific building close to that station so they might have gotten full points in placement and the location orientation of the building and the weather is beautiful today guys anyways i hope you like this video and if you did go ahead hit a like and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you soon see you bye bye